Welcome back to the Emerald Corner. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the five and most important things to bring with you to your initial tax planning consult. Well, hey there, I'm Kimberly Ferguson, CEO and founder of Emerald Expectations Accounting. I'm so happy that you're here. The Emerald Corner is a place where life and business meet. So I want to help you to have a growing and profitable small business while maintaining a life with your loved ones. Today's episode is another episode of Tax Tip Tuesday. And for those of you who don't know, that is where I share with you tips and tricks on how to get ready for tax season, how to lower your tax liability, and answer your specific tax questions. So if you have a tax question, will you please drop it in the comments below? I would love to make a video just for you. So in today's episode, I want to talk about the five must-haves that you need to bring with you to your initial tax planning consult. Now, maybe you're meeting with a tax strategist in person. Maybe you're meeting over Zoom. Maybe you've just been talking with somebody over email. But these are the things that I think are most important for you to have prepared when you are consulting initially with a tax advisor, okay? So number one is you're going to need to have your tax returns. Yes, this might be an obvious one, but the thing that you need to have in addition to your tax returns is kind of like a list or maybe even just a mental note as to any big changes that have happened since that tax return was filed. Okay, so if you've gotten married, if you've gotten divorced, if you've had a child or you're going to have a child, if you've moved, you know, especially to another state, these types of things are going to make a really big difference when it comes to your tax strategy. So make sure you come with those items. So number two is your retirement and other investment data. So at a bare minimum, you want to know what types of accounts you already have established. Okay. Even better would be if you could say what the balances are or how much you are contributing on a regular basis. The more information that you can provide, the better your tax consultation is going to go and the more opportunities that strategist is going to be able to find to help save you money on your taxes, okay? Number three is if you're a small business owner, which if you're on this channel, you probably are, make sure you bring in a copy of your latest profit and loss and balance sheet, okay? This is going to give the strategist information about what kind of deductions you're already able to take for your business, if you've made any changes to your business since your last tax return, and it will give them the chance to look for opportunities within your business as well as within your personal life because a lot of tax strategies are available to small business owners that are not available to people who do not have small businesses. So this is going to be a huge opportunity zone for you. So you don't want to miss out on this particular option. So number four is not something that you need to physically bring with you, but make sure you bring your personal and business goals with you. And if you're married or you have a business partner, make sure you bring their personal and business goals as well. A good tax strategist is going to take this information and use it to truly build out your tax plan. So if you have three kids and you want to be able to put them through college, then a good tax strategist is going to help you figure out how to do that, how to make that happen. Okay. And there are tax strategies that we can implement that would benefit you if that is your goal. Okay. So make sure you kind of have a good firm idea as to what those things are that you want to accomplish. And hopefully the tax strategist is going to kind of help pull those things out of you. But it's a good idea to come prepared with at least a basic idea of the types of things you want to accomplish when it comes to your business and personal life. And number five, my favorite is make sure you bring your questions. OK, don't just come planning to listen, which I hope you do. Do come planning to listen and learn and take everything in, but also come with your questions. So a few that I highly recommend that you ask to make sure that you're working with a good strategist are what kind of ROI are they expecting or return on investment? What is their anticipated timeline to complete this? Do they assist you with implementation? Will they connect with other professionals to help implement that plan, such as financial advisors, potentially state attorneys, that kind of stuff. These are huge, huge questions that should make a big impact on whether or not you choose to go with that tax strategist, especially if they're not willing 
to meet with other professionals to help you implement these things, they may not be the right fit because they can explain to you really well what their tax strategy is, but they're going to be the ones who can best communicate that with the estate attorney, with the financial advisor, with whatever other professionals they recommend that you work with, right? So it's really important to know these things about the tax strategist before you decide to move forward, okay? Well, thank you so much for spending just a few minutes of your time with me today. I hope that you have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video.